What's up, guys? Welcome to the first episode of the Alpha Pack. Today we're going to be talking about a tier list for all the attackers, with legendary being the highest and never pick being the lowest. I'm Ryan, and today I'm joined with Kyle. What's up, guys? Mikey. Yes, sir. And Offer. Yo. All right, so what's going on, Kyle? All right, so today we're, like Ryan said, we're doing a tier list for all the attackers. Uh, we got five different tiers here. S tier being the highest tier, which is attackers we believe should be played on every single objective in every single round of the game. The next tier being meta, which means in the current state of Siege, they're very, very strong and they should be played in majority of the rounds. Map and objectives dependent tier is people that are super strong on some objectives, but not so good on other ones. Rare pick are still viable options, but fit really niche situations or small circumstances where you wouldn't be picking them that often. And never pick is your below average operators that you should really very rarely be picking all right boys you ready yeah all right the yeah. first one so off, who are we going to talk about first we're going to go down the list so the first one we're going to go with is sledge all right Pretty personally cool. i believe he should be in meta tier he is one of the only people that or he's one of the best at doing horizontal attacking and playing from above um he's also still got his frag grenades he's got a good gun I don't think he he's still he's one of the better entry fraggers. I don't think he's the best, but I think he falls in meta. What do you guys? Yeah, I, I think he's meta. I was yeah. thinking about yeah. making map dependent because I'm not sure if Sledge is necessarily the best pick for every single map. But I mean, for the most part, you can't go wrong with Sledge. So I'm down for meta. Fair, fair. So yeah, I haven't put him meta too as well. All right, we all agree on meta. No, what about you, Mike? Yeah, I have him in meta. All right, first. Yeah, all right. So we got to know is Amaru. Personally, for me, I think she should be never picked. Uh, she's very she's undervalued. She's... <laughs> what? Oh. What'd you say, Ryan? Yeah, no, never pick. All right, what's the next one? Never. Oh, did everyone agree never pick? No, it's an easy one. All right, but should we explain herself at least? It's very hard to get value. <laughs> nah, go her. ahead. Her guy just very. Never pick her. Yeah. yeah never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Ever. Uh, next up is we we got Sophia. Uh, she's. One of the best entry fraggers in the game, if not the best. So I feel like everything she brings to the team with opening up angles, concussions, and ACOG, all those different things would make her be able to be played on any single objective. And you should be bringing on her every single objective. So I think she should go in S. Yeah, I have her. Absolutely. Her legendary as well. All right, next up is Blackbeard. This could get start. We get starting getting some controversial ones. Blackbeard to me is more fits more into the map dependent category where. He could be strong at certain maps, or he could play with them on Windows, and on certain objectives that you could play Windows. But as he doesn't bring much team utility, um, so overall I feel like he's kind of middle of the pack. So I would think he falls in team map objective dependent here. What do you guys think? Map dependent. Yeah, map as well. Yeah, he doesn't really bring too much utility. So I think map dependent's good. I there think are he's maps. a rare pick because I think there's better options if you're doing what you, his role is oh i i definitely agree entry fragging you would want a different person with more utility but i could see where people can get some value on the mat, mass with windows but i could agree where someone could argue he goes down i mean those like playing the repel really strong there really is no one that can do it better than blackbeard though. yeah but the repel is not really played a lot that's fair i see it is very underrated you're right there's easy counters that's fair. All right, so we're going to settle with map. Is that what majority thinks? Yeah. All right. All right, next up, we got Ying. How do you guys feel about Ying? I have her Gee. at A tier. Her meta. meta. Okay. I, I thought she would be meta, too. Um, with the recent her recent buff, she become very, very strong with all of her candelas. Her upgraded gun, as well as her smoke grenades, allows her to execute on point with the plan, as well as clear out rooms push people while they're blind. I think that makes her one of the better operators and very, very strong in most situations. I disagree. I, uh, I have her in legendary because even after, yeah, even after the nerf, she's really strong. And plus she has smokes. So very beneficial. What do you think? Huh? Well, I, I, go ahead, right? I don't know. To me, I don't know. Could it, could you argue she could be on every played on every objective? Yeah, but I don't know some objectives. I could see where it could be 
you could get countered, which a lot of ADSs with a warden, a lot of different things could counter. I, I don't yeah, know but well, no, yeah, she only has three yanks. I don't think there's a person that should be she should be picked every single objective. Most objectives Wait, you can get away uh, with her. I want to say meta. We'll leave her in meta for now. At the end, we'll move around see if okay. we want to change them. Okay. All right. Uh, next up is Thatcher. Thatcher's one I actually just changed my mind on right before we did this. I originally wanted to have him in meta, but thinking about it more, I feel like he. You people could argue that he's the most overpowered person in this game. So to me, he's starting to lean towards S tier just because he counters almost every single thing in this game. Yeah, I think I think that's just legendary. You can play him in any map, even in the map where you don't need to get the wall. You're still gonna get benefit just from getting out other gadgets such as cap can traps, lesions. Well, he gets out lesions though, right? Yeah, uh, Jaegers too. Uh, Jaegers, yeah, Jaegers played in almost every single you know every single round, so he's always beneficial. He's so he gets Jaegers. out. Yeah, I have him in legendary. Yeah. You you can't go yeah, wrong. I probably should push to legendary because I mean he's one of a kind. Mm -hmm. That's what I don't. Cali is just not <laughs> can't can't use her. That's fair. That's fair. So our next up we got is Dokubi. For me, I put her down to rare pick. If you're picking her for the smokes, most of the time there's a better option than her. Yeah, her bone calls can be nice if you push coordinate with the pushing. Um, but her guns aren't the best. They're all right, but they're more the difficult side to use. Plus, I think there's better smokers out there. To, so to me, I think she would be rare pick. Yeah, rare pick. She's good, but there's better choices. But if you do try to play around her heavily, like with the phone calls and everything, if you actually rely on her. in rare pick. Yeah, same. I think for the most part, though, she's just rare pick. All right, perfect. But next up is Cabbytail. This one I was moving around a lot. Personally, me, I ended up with him in meta, but I was I at one point I had him lower than meta. I think his smokes are strong, and I think he is probably the best smoker with Ying, and he's very versatile and help very good at executing on point. He's very beneficial in that factor. If if the capital player is very skilled, then I think he can be one of the best players. So I think he should be in meta. Yeah, I can go for meta for capital. I love capital. He's very versatile. You really can't go wrong with having him. Flexible can be used in many different scenarios. I think he's a strong meta. For me. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I have him as too. map dependent. Oh. See, to me, I have. Because I feel like he's only viable if you're playing the the plant that objective. That you're really pushing for the plant. That's where I had him at first, thinking about certain objectives. The fire can get more value because you can zone certain objectives out, or certain zone certain areas out. Um. I mean, I think I know he's good for playing the plant, but I don't think. That's his only purpose to play around the plan. I think you can be something else with them. You don't only have to play around just going for the plan. I don't know. I would keep him at map dependent. Map dependent. Mikey thinks map dependent. Uh, Hoffman, what do you feel? You said meta, you think? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. And Ryan, you said meta. So we'll put him in meta yeah. for now, and we'll see if we'll end up changing him later on. So next up, we got his buck. Me... Buck after the nerf is perfectly fits and objective dependent since map dependent. He was the bet one of the best entry fraggers in the game to me. Now you're only gonna pick him in specific objectives or, or maps that you know you'll be able to go under and shoot above. In those type mm. of maps. Yeah. You really gotta have a plan before him out. You gotta plan before where you're gonna go, uh I am map map dependent. Yeah, I'm map dependent. Just, oh, you... There's a lot of maps where it's upward. I have them in uh so, no, that is... I haven't been meta. You have one above? Uh, yeah. Why do you say that? <laughs> because I think the Claymore still, like, really can fit his play style. So regardless, it's not even that bad of a nerf that he got. Plus, he has extra um, shots. Skeleton key but yeah, I, yeah, I, I agree with you on that. Shows. But to me, uh, I feel like if you're gonna go, if you're going above, you might as well take Sledge. So he, he, the only time he's getting super value anymore is when you're going underneath. And at that point, that point you're already planning ahead on the objective, so that's perfectly falls into the objective dependent. You can I don't. I feel like you can't just bring him on any objective. You really need to think about it beforehand. It really depends on what objective you can bring him on. You can get some value, but I, I think there's better options if you're playing them on every objective like Sledge. 
I, you play I around. You definitely ability. play around Buck. You don't mm-hmm. just pick Buck up on the fly, I feel. Like, when you play Buck, you have a strategy. And most of the time, it involves using a skeleton key to breach. That's fair, that's fair. All right, so we're going to go with majority and map dependent? Map slash objective yeah. dependent? All right, next up, we got glass. Yeah. You guys want to talk about glass uh, first? Never pick. Rare. Okay, what's the next person? Never pick. You want to put him in? Nah. I had him in rare. I put him in rare, yeah. <laughs> I feel no. like he could get some value <laughs> if played correctly, especially with a lot of smokes. If the smoke meta takes off. He can if he can die. get some value, then Amaru can get some value. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of value that he can get is just as much as Amaru. That's true. But well, Glass is playing with the plant where Amaru is really rushing in by herself. I mean, she still disturbs the objective. Fair, fair. No team utility, nothing. I can see that argument. We'll I mean, it. they both don't it's have just, team utility. Yeah. Amaru's an entry fragger. We'll keep, we'll, keep, we'll keep it in every pick now and see if you end up moving it later. I mean, people people do use the, the smoke meta is more of a thing now, right? Yeah, of course. There's more and more yeah, players. it is. I feel like it is easier to play around Glass than someone like Amaru who really never get truly that much. I mean, Amaru has glass. her actual gun now. Where yeah, yeah but, but Glass's gun is strong. Good with... rich. Yeah, Glass's gun can. I mean, it's good, but yeah. it's not gonna win like a one v two or something. Where Amaru mm-hmm. has more of a chance. You think never pick Ryan? Is that what you're going with? What was what was everyone else? Me everyone else on so. rare pick, and you and Mike here on never pick. We'll, uh, we'll leave uh, never pick for now. If you uh, feel that. You way. sure about that? Okay. All right. For Montaigne, I put him in rare pick. I feel like if you're really good with him, I can see you arguing higher up. But I feel like there's not that many people that are super strong with him. Um, and if you played around him enough, he's very frustrating. I have him in rare him. pick. But I have him in map dependent. Yeah, same. I feel like there's a lot of objectives where you can get a lot of value out of Montaigne. Like, for example, uh, Dirt on Bank, Montaigne is really, really strong there. And it's really hard to contest it against them just by the nature of the objective. Can't really do anything about it unless you have a smoke, and even then it's only going to stall for so long. Yeah, that um, canal, from receiver, uh, and also uh, <laughs> laundry out back. I just have him as rare pick just because if the the defender team is coordinated enough, they can stop it. I really do think though that if you have like a good Montan, oh, yeah. if you you can actually have a team play around just the Montan off of base stuff of like solely where he pushes. Oh no, I I agree. That's with why you. I have there's him a, in that. There's a great Montan player, but I'm just saying how many great Montan players. Not that well, often. not even like being a great Montaigne, just playing around Montaigne. Like you can revolve a whole entire strategy off of where Montaigne pushes. Yeah. And I mean, I Montaigne's mean, a very yeah, he's not easy. Bad. He, cha- like, he changes how he the does, defenders he's play. Super easy. I agree. Like he completely but I don't know. Out. I don't know if he's super. I don't know if he's one of the best operators in certain. Places. No, no, no one's saying he's the oh, best. No, no, no. I just think that he's good enough to be in map dependent at least. Because there are some objectives where he can do really well and where he can completely change up the enemy team's stretch just based off his presence alone. I have him in rare pick. Yeah, to me personally, I think he's got to go rare. I think that there's not enough people that play him. There's a lot of counters to him, too. A well-coordinated team will be able to play around him. Yeah, there's some counters. There's yeah, Legion, that's one. Oh well, I'm not talking. Oh well, if you're talking direct counters, there's a lot. I mean, yeah, well, any trap can stop. Any trap can stop him. But I was talking about uh, if he gets, if he over pushes, you're able to flank him, or you're able to. I mean, sometimes you can even just let him sit there in the corner of your room if they get Montaigne's not that good, and you don't even have to let know. You could just straight up ignore him. It's really. You know, many times we have lost rank games just because a Montaigne sat in the corner when they got the fuse off or something like that. Well, yeah. Oh, post plan. He's obviously the best at post plan. I hundred well, yeah. percent agree. But yeah, that's yeah. not what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I feel like the skill. You, you need a lot of skill in order to be really good at Montaigne. Every time we I go just, against a Montaigne, I just think he's a rare pencil. I think he's a. I think he might be frustrating, Ryan. But I. I don't think that makes him better. There's a difference between frustrating and good. He frustrates the defenders, but I don't think he's that good. 
I mean, he definitely can be good if it's played by a good person. But I, to me, I think he should be a rare pick. Okay. <laughs> so you guys want to put him in rare pick for now, and we'll see if we end up moving him towards the end. Yeah. Right. Uh, nah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna leave. Him. We'll leave him rare pick now. Just leave him alone. You good with that, Albert? It's a two on two. Okay, you want to put him? You want to keep him down below? Sure. Um. All right. So then we'll go. Next one is the Maverick. Maverick, personally, I had his meta. Um, in situations where you don't have a Dermite in Nirvana and the wall is electrocuted, you're able to still open it. He, on some maps like Clubhouse and Chalet, he can be very, very strong um, and beneficial to opening up lines of sight to see into objectives. And he's got frags, he's got claymores, he's got a good gun. I think he's got a pretty solid kit, kit and I would put him I in think, I think his map's good, but I think he's map yeah, sure. uh, defended. Okay. I think there's. I don't think he's works in every objective. Well, Thermite and Habana aren't going to be banned at the same time. Fair, 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 fair. So, Till he has. I mean, I just think them two are way better hard creatures than he is. Okay. That's I mean, frags are good, but. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. We'll put him into that. Uh, is Alfred, is that what you, you had for him, Alfred? Yeah. All right, so we're going to keep him math dependent. All right, next up, we're going to Nomad. Nomad was a tough one for me because at first I originally wanted to have an S. And for me, I put her slightly down into meta, but she's the closest thing to S for me as possible. She could be so good on almost every single objective. You have rotates. I just think there's certain maps that she's better at than others. Um, but maps that there's like a lot of staircases people are coming up with is good. Maps that you're outside and people are trying to jump out on you, she's really valuable. Because those air jazz really stun people for a long period of time. But uh, what do you guys think? I think she's S. You think you would put her yeah, up in S? I, well, I have, I have her in meta. Meta? I have her in S here. S. I think she's great anywhere. You can never go wrong with her. her yeah, ability. but if you had to pick two entry fraggers, is she one of your two every single time? Maybe not every time. Mm. No, I, I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. To me, I, she's. I, I wouldn't be opposed to having her there every time. I wouldn't be opposed to having her too. Your gun is really strong. Yeah, that was no I mean, yes, that was It is very really strong in covering plank. But her ability is also very good for post plant. True, it's very good for plank. Yeah, I mean, there's not but much other people plant, that are, are able to pushing in. Like, there's not much other people that are able to delay a plant. Yeah. As yeah, well oh yeah, her, her stunning is takes up a long period of time. All right, I, I yeah, can, like what more could you ask for? I could put her up to that. And uh, I mean, both of her guns are great. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll leave her there. Now, Twitch. You guys want to talk about her first? Twitch, I have in map and objective. No, where to put Twitch? Map dependent. I had Why'd you map put it in too. Slash objective defense. Uh, what does that mean, map dependent? Uh, to me, I mean. Well, first off, with Twitch once her drones are gone, she has no way to gather intel on mm -hmm. And oh, her drones yeah. are already a big target. Yeah. So, to me, that's that to a do big with map dependent, though? Uh, to me, for me, it was between rare I just and don't rare. think that she's meta. No, I know. I have her in rare pick. I just want to know, like, the map dependent part. Because, I mean, I mean, not really map dependent, more of a ban dependent. If Thatcher is banned, then you need to get something else. Yeah, I would say she's one of the alternatives to Thatcher, and depending on the map, she is a better alternative. Sometimes you could use different alternatives like sledging, bucking above, or to get out the bandits and stuff, but she is one of the alternatives to Thatcher, so depending on particular objectives, if there's a drone hole near that, like for their own room or something like that on Game Park, she could be a substitute for that. Yeah, constantly. That's why I personally think she'd go there. What about you? I wouldn't uh, put her rare pick just because I mean, yeah, she's still, yeah, she still can, her, yeah, her she can still get around. Um, yeah, I don't want to put her rare pick, but map dependent just seems really weird. The map, I would also, the map dependent though, to also band dependent. Band, so. yeah, I would agree with that. Over including band. in that case, yeah. yeah. 
I feel she's like just she's simply just, situational. Yeah. Ever all the way in <laughs> legendary. <laughs> what makes you say? I I mean, I can see why. She has a great gun. gun. Yeah, she has a really. Yeah, the F two is just way too strong. Shredding okay, people. By putting her in S tier, you think she should be played every round of every every objective for every game. I couldn't. I couldn't see. I mean, you really, I you really go wrong. Yeah, you don't. You can't go wrong. I I just think that I would way rather her drone drones are already as valuable as they are, and if her gadget is tied to those drones, Mm. that already that like makes it even more valuable to get a twitch drone out, and then she has no way of checking into the objective room. Exactly. You gotta play more safe with your drones on top of your, you already are. To me, if you're picking her as an entry fragger every single time, there's way better options to open up lines of sight to help you push into the point. If you're, if you're, the only time I feel like she gets that value is when Thatcher is out. I don't think you would ever, especially if we have Thatcher and STR, I don't think you would ever well, have Thatcher and Twitch at the exact same time. Yeah, okay, I can see that. All right, I'll still for map dependent. That's fine. Or map slash band dependent in this case. All right, we'll put it in there. Uh, gridlock. Now this I think will be a controversial one. Uh, I think gridlock's better. And um, yeah. To me, I, I mean, you can play her anyway. I I mean I don't want to underrate gridlock, but to me I. Have I her have her map. I had a I had a feeling this one was gonna fall into three different tiers. I have her down to rare pick. Uh, but I could see where you can move her up to map. I just don't think she's in the same level as the other smokers like Yang and Cappy tell up here that we have in meta, so she can't be there. Okay. I think her. Gr- Actually, I changed my answer. I think her. Gr- uh, I have her map. I think her track singers I are changed very strong, answer, but can be countered play. easily by any explosion or anything. Um, to me, she is valuable, but I, I guess mean, she's also a, a one speed. Yeah, yeah I have her. And, and one speed on attacking is. Yeah, it's not the most ideal thing. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I added okay. more towards a rare pick because I feel like her her gadget is good, but it can be countered easily. There's better smokers out there, so to me, she's good. But I I don't think she's the same level as Dokubi, but I think she has to be in rare pick. But I can see where yeah, you need to go up. I ever man. Pretty strong too. So. What do you guys think? All right, well. Uh, I'll still for rare pick. I, I changed my choice. Yeah, though. I think I'm gonna slide her down to rare as well. All right, next up we got his lion. Lion, I had in a rare pick. Um, I had in rare pick. Yeah, for most situations, you won't get that much value. It, it sounds nice to get someone standing still for a certain period of time, and it can be good if you coordinated with your pushing. But the odds of you actually getting value out of it is very slim. Yeah, his guns are nice, but there's always usually better picks picking for your uh, operators on attacking over him. Okay. You guys feel rare? I have him in map and OB. Yeah, I have him also. In, in rare yeah. pick, Mikey? No, in map, map dependent. Okay, what make you guys put him up towards the map side? I just think that he's great for rushes if you're going to push that. Exactly. He has a great gun. If it's well coordinated, um, it could be perfect. Yeah. I don't know the it's kinda tough mm. to put him between if there is a tier between yeah, those I would put him there. Yeah. What do you think, Ryan? You think you should move up to map or you think you should definitely stay in her? I ain't putting that boy in map. You don't think you should go with map? I'm sticking with her. Yeah, I feel crazy. like he doesn't bring enough value. He could be good in the very few situations where you are rushing, but that's very there's very small situations when you're full on rushing. That's what I feel. I don't think like this particular maps are objective that he's I mean, really strong on or one of the best operator picks. I like Lion. I play him whenever we do go clubhouse, mm-hmm. but for the most part, I mean, there's always people I can play over him. Like, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't really has no reason to play lion unless you're specifically rushing which is really rare you're right you move fair with the rare pick i would you? move him down there. all right we'll put him in rare pick. all right next up is thermite one of the better hard breachers in the game he's good on a lot of the objectives in most of the situations when hard breaching for me i'm stuck on this one for me just because there's certain situations where you pick abana and some situa- situations where you pick thermite 
me he would be meta. Because I don't think you pick him every time you need a hard break. I have him in S tier. You have him in S? There's only <laughs> one map where he can't be playing. Every other one, it doesn't even hurt. And even in that map, there's some objectives. Because yeah, the map is coastline. Yeah. yeah, well, coastline doesn't need still... hard breed. Yes. Well, yeah, but he could even still get some value if they go, like, kitchen or... You're right, but if I was... Like, uh... penthouse. But... I just think that he can be used on every map and get value. But if I was going for hatches, attacking the bottom floor of bank, you can't really do that with Thermite if it's gated. Or, if, yeah, if it's gated out because you won't be able to place it on the floor next to it. So in that case... I well, one, I, I do think that I mean, should yeah, be but every single mm, the bottom. Yeah, but so, I mean, if it is Kaden, for most unless they have that you're now. going for hash, I could see the Habana. Majority of the time, you're safe going with Thermite, but I could see some situations where you would want the Habana instead. That was, to me, I they're, because they're both next up, I personally thought they both should be in meta because they're both strong, hard breachers. It just depends on your situation and how you want to use Yeah. Them. I have Habana in... A tier, then. Meta. And Thermite yeah. and S. Ah, she got it. You gave the Thermite slight, slight nodge above. Um, yeah, yeah. To me, I put him on the same level just because it's really dependent on what you need. Because Habana still can get I the just, wall if it's in the situation. He's just not going to get a big of a I pull. just think that Habana is... I mean, if you think about it, the size of Thermite's one thing is like the size of all of her pellets if she places them all. Oh, yeah. If you're going yeah. for a wall, Thermite really it just when it comes yeah, down to getting but the I just, where Habana I mean, but then again, Thermite could be also better at getting hatch. Yeah, well, he can only get two. There's, Habana could get three. Yeah, but if there's a soft, if there's a soft um, floor or something. Yeah, if you yeah. can place on the floor next to it to get the cave, that's fine. Habana wouldn't really... I was I was just about to say that. I was just going to mention that. No. Um, I mean, Thermite Habana's is gun is good also, but Thermite's is an easier yeah. gun to use. There might be Less bigger, recoil. Oh, bigger mag size. Yeah. So, yep, Habana's got more damage, but... Alright, so we definitely all agree Habana's going in meta. It's between Thermite going in meta or S for us. What do you think, Offer? Because I don't think you said where you had him. No, I, I have him in meta as long as... Or, uh, alongside with Habana. You had him in meta with, or with Habana. You said you had the same thing, Ryan? I put him in S. Thatcher, Thermite everywhere. But if Thatcher is banned, yeah. maybe not Thermite. But for the most part, everywhere. I mean, you really, you can't go flat on that. You think you should just play it on every objective of every map, though? That's, I mean, if you want to argue it, I would. Unless you have, a, like, a specific strategy. Can be. I don't think about. he should be, necessarily, like, on, like, Coastline. But in every other That's map, it could be he can still be used and get value out of him. Unless, like, you actually have like a specific strategy for attacking, I think for the most part, he you probably do want him. You want a hard breacher, and you want, you know, you want your Thatcher, and that uh, Thermite is the most reliable hard breacher for almost every map. Okay, offered you. So yeah, I do think it's that list. Yeah, for now. Now we're moving on to Ash. Um, S tier. S tier. Yeah, S for sure. All right, it's unanimous. Yes, the only thing I'll say. Next best. <laughs> oh. oh. I think you definitely argue as her as the second best entry fragger, but I could see situations where you would opt to pick Sledge as, Sledge as your second entry fragger just so you have more yeah. reach potential. <laughs> I don't think it should be... If we're doing if someone picks Sledge <laughs> over Ash, Sledge is used for a whole different thing. I agree, but yeah, not for entry. Her <laughs> gun, her gun is that's what is. twenty times better than what Sledge has. I agree, but yeah, it brings a different sucks. skill set. Well, yeah, but they're not really comparable, Sledge and. Yeah, but I'm just thinking of people you pick as your entry fraggers. I, if we go with this, then we're saying Sophie and Ash are the best entry fraggers in the game. They are. Yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> I think there could be other. Ash options. is like yeah, right underneath Sophia. I'm not exactly as good as her. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I would say there's other people that could fight for that spot, but I can see where you could argue she's guaranteed number two. And that's why I'm going to let, you know, I'm all right with it. Um, next up, oh, that's the, we have one last one. Back to Montaigne. He's no. the last one. He might be, he might be. <laughs> next up, we got his fuse, boys. I'm sorry. Fuse, I have in rare pen. Yeah, I had Come on. One speed yeah, is yeah, not... I've... One what? speed is not boss. He's there. Yeah, but gridlock is rare yeah, pick, okay. and fuse should to be me, rare. Me, me, one fuse's gun is the second best gun in the game. All right, to me. And number two, his fuse, his fusing ability is really strong in a lot of objectives. To me, where it's all you can just, get away like, with him maybe on cafe and a few objectives. You can slide him possibly to map, but barely. I would put. I would put him on Matt. Or okay. I would put him a higher tier if he was not a um one speed. One me, speed on attack is just that, not that viable. Russian abs. <laughs> to me, his his thing could work on some maps, but he's never going to be one of your better picks on some maps. So I feel like he has to. Could work. He could work on some objectives. Yeah, on some on like but cafe. But he's not just could. I know for a fact he works on a lot of objectives. A like, decent amount of objectives, like archives for bank, all of border below. Archives. Uh, yeah, archives. Yeah, there's very few situations here and there he'd be good, but in those all situations, of coastline below. But theme those, park throne room. In those situations, the sledge can almost be the same same thing. Most of sledge I doesn't did. have twelve grenades. I just think yeah, that one speed is not good enough on attack. I think I think he's a rare pick, Ryan. You can't argue with him higher. Okay, so it's unanimous. Uh, <laughs> next up, we, so next up we got rare. Finca. Finca to me also fits in the category where she could be good in some situations, but those situations are very very few. And she's just like Lion. She's better off when she's rushing and getting aggressive. So for me, I feel like she's got to be right next to Lion and rare pick. Yeah, I am a rare pick. You guys yeah, know. I have to agree with you on the they should be in like the same category. Mm -hmm. So I have them both in uh, mapping objectives dependent. Gotcha. But if we agree that line should be rare pick, you then think it should be down there with him. Oh, she's she's rare pick. <laughs> okay. Let's never play him. Okay. To me, I had <laughs> between between me, I had between never pick and rare pick. When you become I have them in never pick. <laughs> when you become confident, we're gonna. If we're gonna put Montaigne in rare pick or map objective, then Blitz should be below whatever he is. That's fair. Okay. Oh yeah, I, okay. I agree with you. That's why I have him in rare. You I put him, him in never pick. You had him in never pick, Ryan. Yeah, I put him in never pick. See, I had him in rare, yeah, but I'm gonna flash people out aggressively, aggressively just being. True. Sure. People aren't gonna true. shoot you anyway. What difference does it make? If you, you get comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> If you become very confident in playing against his shield, then you uh, then he gets loses a lot of his value. If you're good at running around and knifing him, or you feel confident, especially if ADS yeah. is around to stop the flashes, I feel like there's way better options if you're trying to push point than relying on a hip fire and a small little shield to block you. So actually, I'm already rare, or never move him down there. Never. That's cool with me. Next up is IQ. IQ I have in meta. IQ. A, yeah. Meta, I feel like Meta, she's yeah. very good at seeing things or walls. There's certain roamers like Pulse and Vigil, she could see and help hunt them down. Um, she's help. She's really good with people bandit tricking. If you can go below and shoot it out, or caves, or mutes, anything stopping the wall, she's very valuable below. Um, as well as seeing what they have on certain doors before pushing. Valcam. Exactly, hunting Valcam, seeing the extra doors, not securing. But all her her guns are done. Yeah, that's why I have her in Western here, but I can definitely see why someone would say matter. You you had her up to S just because she has a lot of good guns? I think her guns are strong. Well, not solely on that, but yeah. yeah. I, feel like, I feel like she's not the most perfect, perfect person out there. She doesn't bring the opening opening up walls that Sophie and S do, but her thing is useful in its own right. That's why I feel like it's meta. They are banning the walls. You're not going to use it if you're not playing against a person that's playing. Like you could even you could even entry frag with how good her weapons are. Yeah, but I'm saying if there's use. if there's no ban if no one's banditing and valking using the valcam, there's nothing to get out of that. In that case, 
Ash and Sophia would have been the better option to be able to get yeah, to open up walls, to be able to stun people, to be able to push in. That's why I feel like yes, they just have to step down. From them. Oh, She's definitely okay, good. Yeah. Overall, what do you guys think? IQ? Yeah. Yeah, meta. Meta? Ryan, you think meta? Yes, sir. Alright, we're gonna throw her in meta. We're rounding out. Jackal's up next. Jackal, I had in meta too. I have him in legendary. See, I was I was in between S and meta. I have him in meta. Um, to me, he does have yeah, some which is nice. He's got his shotgun to open up floors, which is nice. He's he's got some trackings to hunt down roamers. Um, but to me, I mean, he is one of the most oppressive people to play against. He's very scary to play against, but at the same time, and he gets banned a lot because of it. At the same time, I feel like you have to play him a certain type of way. Yeah, well, he has one that, like, the most, I think it's in the top five, his uh, main weapon. Yeah, his gun, one of the his, top five yeah, his gun is definitely very good, yeah. I, I mean, I feel yeah. like there's some maps that he's not completely perfect on, though. Maps that don't have heavy aromas. Like, I'm trying to think. Like, Clubhouse is not the best for that that jackal. Uh, smaller maps that they're very hard to I run. think that he's still good, though, because of all his utility he has. Yeah, he's yeah the fact that he can... Even, even if they're not, uh, they don't I have, have a room, he still has smoke. Yeah, One of the even if you don't, he's and still good. He has, he has way too much. Okay. I have to go legendary. Now we got Lana. I think she should... Uh, be, I have her map. To me, I had a, rare, a slightly down between rare pick. I have her yeah, rare yeah. pick. I think you can get value out of her, um, especially if you're working with a teammate to scout ahead in front of them to push ahead. Um, her frags are nice. Her gun is uh, solid. <laughs> Overall, she's good, but to get maximum value out of her is not that easy. I just have her in the middle because she's still kind of new. That's all. And she's not played a lot. I mean, yeah, then you could say she's rare pick, but mm -hmm. I think that she has a lot of potential. Yeah, I think she does have potential. I think when she gets introduced to Pro League next, whenever she does in six months yeah. after their release, when more people see how she's used and see new strats with her, then she'll be played more, and that's where I can see she moved up. But as of right now, I feel like she's a rare pick because no pe no one knows how to use her perfectly. And that's typically how new operators are. Offered, what do you think? Oh, uh, I have her in rare. Rare pick as well? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Well, they're all we're up in rare pick then. Oh, so Callie. Uh, Callie to me. I have her in rare pick. Yeah, I heard her in rare pick too. I think the game definitely needs a substitute for Thatcher because Thatcher is so crucial her to the gun. Game. Her sniper is just yeah. not. If it didn't cool down enough. people all the time, I would have her in. Nah, I would still have her rare pick. Yeah, she's rare pick. Yeah, I'm gonna move her down to rare because I have her in map, but she's just if, awful. Uh, if, I, I like the idea, and it was cool that it would be soft tried to have Cal a sniper as an operator, but I just wish that it wasn't the person that was that your substitute. As long as like if they had any other gun, I think it could have worked out. Um, because their ability is just strictly wor strictly worse, and most of the time you're not gonna get as much value out as their gun as you would have having that your, either of his gun. Up. We agree, rare pick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're left with Montaigne, right? That's it. Yeah. We're between map and objective I dependent, rare pick. Still map dependent, because there's there are objectives where Montaigne is really, really good. I don't think he needs to be rare pick. What about you, Offered? You were you were with me on the rare pick, or you were with Ryan on map and objective? Uh, I I have him for rare pick. You, Mikey was. Yeah, yeah I'll say that. correct. I think he really just he played a, a lot of good maps. I know. For I I know he's, he's good, but yeah, he's I, not. If you played right, he can be good, and he can be very frustrating and just drop the whole. If beat. you have a no, coordinated it's not team, frustrating. It's if just you have a, really a well enough coordinated team, then yeah, if you play, if you know how to play the situation perfectly and you know coordinate it well. And it's just like they only have four guns instead of five. You could play it perfect. Well, you could say the same thing for any map-dependent person, right? If you have a well-coordinated team, you can counter them in some way. Who are the yeah. other people we had in map-dependent? 
Uh, right now we have Blackbeard, Buck, Maverick, and Witch. But we're saying those people are like Buck. like Maverick you can counter, Blackbeard you can yeah, counter. But what with not the countering thing, it's like Buck is even Twitch. Buck on certain maps where you can shoot below can be one of the best operators, the best choice on that map because you can go below. Blackbeard on Windows like for... he can be the best fragger on that map because he has the window peak. I don't know any maps are rejected where Montaigne can be like one of the, the best. previous thing I said. I for his server whenever there there is a Montaigne that's yeah that is the worst possible thing i can't do anything about it yeah, i can't I, pressure can... at all we can barely stop them and he's way worse than any other attack or better face whenever i am holding it. i think you can take a few situations here and there and i it's think he's really also nice hard. for holding plants but i think there's a lot of things to counter like for like me your turrets to shoot him out from the back or while he's playing forward i mean yeah sure C4. but C4. Where it's I think... still not just it's not easy just to see for hunting one Oh, I, I, I'm not saying it's easy, but I feel like if you play him right, then I can't have him higher than this deck. Okay. Now, another okay. thing, as far as the Miestros, you usually have a teammate behind Montaigne, so you really can't just shoot him. Yeah, not all the time, but if people don't always know where the Miestros are, sometimes they can get away with not noticing. It's, I mean, it's all dependent, right? There's a lot of different things that could do damage to them. Like, the eject is where you push directly from spawn into, yeah. into a protected room it's where that's really where he shines yeah no i that's I, why i go with map dependent i agree but i don't know how many rooms there are in this game enough to put him in the map dependent. i think he can be good in a lot i think of it's a decent amount to pour in it as much as the other people who are map yeah but dependent. i think there's a lot of things like ella mines that could drop a shield instantly you could have traps in the doorways like elysian goo mines like cap can traps no that you could have smokes there's a lot of ways that you can damage him off Force him to oh, drop yeah. the shield. You can you can damage him all the way to one health, but if you can't kill him, it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, but it's not like he's gonna be able to stop and shoot out his own cat. Like the trash. smoke thing. The smokes will stall him, but it, it won't kill him. Okay, yeah, but if someone's going in and for a And you can only for so long. Yeah, it could I mean, yeah, step sure. down. If he's going for a plan and he walks in the door and he gets Elamine and his shields drop for two seconds, you know, that gives you plenty of time to get him exposed. Um it's also slowing him from running away too, so I guess He's stuck in the smoke even longer in that situation. You can get shot from below. We don't play it. We don't play Ella often enough for that to really be reliable. Yeah, but Ella is a great trap, right? It's a realistic pick. Yeah, like he has his counters. You, you can counter him, but he's That's still true. just a person that excels on certain objectives. The definition of map or map dependent it doesn't mean he can't be countered. It doesn't mean you can't damage him a lot. But I feel like he he excels in certain objectives. He's really, really strong in certain objectives. For me personally, though, it's just the people. If you're really good at him, yeah, I agree with you. But I just have never met someone that's where you don't see it often that the person Montane player is really, really good. If you're yeah, really, fine. really good with him, I could all, you can argue that he's all the way you up, I mean, higher and higher. Well, but to me personally, I don't think you need to be that good with them to do decent to I make mean, an impact. If you're very skilled with Montane and you're able to weave. You know, get your shots in when you can, be able to destroy, shoot out utility when you can, also it calls out to your team, then yeah, you can argue he's higher. But most of the time, I don't feel like we're playing against that good of Montane players that we should be moving them up. Yeah. So you think he should uh, end up in rare pick? Are you okay with that? Mm, okay, I'm staying with my phone. Offered you, you still think map pick, or you think you should go down to rare pick? I think, honestly, no. Uh, he should go down the rear. Rare? Okay. All right, Ryan. That's the majority, buddy. We're going to go with rare for Montaigne. All right, so we're looking at the thing as a whole now. Where do you guys, do you guys see any people we should change at the end here? Views. There's a lot, <laughs> like, think all of Cafe, that, you can do well I think views that on. Blackbeard should not be in the same category as Mammer and Buff you and Twin. You want Blackbeard? Down? Okay, that's fair. I think that Blackbeard, if anything, should change with Gridlock. He want he, he thinks Blackbeard mm. maybe move down and Gridlock maybe move up. How do you feel about that, Ryan? Yeah, that actually is really true. I mean, me personally, overall, Gridlock brings too much to the table compared to Blackbeard. Mm -hmm. I mean, they fill two different roles. So yeah, they do bring different things as a team. You never substitute one and the other. Gridlock's underrated. 
I think Gridlock is definitely underrated. He's strong, but I think there's ways to counter. Is why I think he should be lower. Is what was making me think that. There's so, ways to counter a lot of people. Yeah, but there's a lot of common things running. I mean, a simple one bullet to each track singer to make a path to get through. You know what I mean? Can counter it. It's as simple as everyone just spraying one bullet in. It's do people have the time to do that? Is it too distracting? A lot of people don't focus on that. It's true. But. I don't know. I could see the arguments with Drop. Let me see. Uh. So, are we moving our And I think down Happy to Town should yeah. get moved down also. Matt? So, so, do you three think that Gridlock should move up? If all three of you agree, we'll move it up. To math dependent. Yeah, that's where Mike. I was saying, in this case, math dependent slash situational. Yeah, that's what that's what it really is. Okay, then yeah, sure. I'm fine for it. You think she's offered? Do you think Gridlock should move up? Yeah, of course. Okay, the other Cappy one. Happy Town about, should move down. Is Blackbeard and Cappy Town? Do either you guys think Blackbeard or Cappy Town should move down? I'm fine with that. You're fine with both of them or both of them moving down? Ooh. I'm both of them moving down. What do you think, Offer? Or keep Blackbeard on that tier and move Cappy down. Cappy Town down. Okay. Mm, okay, well, if. No, I, I definitely say then you see with moving Blackbeard Black moves more. down and move uh, Cappy Toe down. Then. I'm more okay with the Cappy Toe move than the Blackbeard. I just feel like Blackbeard is way stronger than, or is more valuable in most situations than these people in Rare Pit. Sure. That's why I'm against the move down the Blackbeard. I can definitely see the Cappy Toe because he can be situational in base. Depending on what map and what objective you're attacking. I just don't think he's bad. Yeah, his firing is very good for stopping bandit tricks in certain situations when the drone holds next to it. But there's alternatives there's like Zofia concussion and stuff to stop bandit tricks. So you guys for moving Capitel down? I will because I originally had him lower on my list. What do you guys think? Yeah, I was either I was fine with either map dependent or or meta for Capitel. I wasn't really sad either so way, so I'm fine. You guys, what do you guys think? What, for a new operator? For, no, for the whole entire for the whole entire list. Do you think there's anyone else that you would want to change, Ryan? I definitely still say Fuse. Yes. If you want to keep Montaigne there, that's under... Well, I can't really a agree with it, but I can see it more than Fuse. I can't. You can the supplement only... a Thatcher or Fuse in a lot of objectives. To where it's only floor. That's the thing. I mean, yeah. Okay. Really the only can't... thing I have different with mine than this tier list is Lion and mm -hmm. Lana. I, I think Fuse is perfect where it is. I think he's one of the funnest operators to play hands down. I mean, I don't know. I'd still say map dependent. I say map dependent slash situational. I definitely don't think, uh, for at least for console, that he really should be rare thing. We've seen Fuse has played a decent amount. <laughs> I, don't well, I mean, we, re re like, for example, on Border, we rely solely on Fuse to help get up the wall. On Border? I mean, not solely on Fuse because you shoot down from breach charges, but it, it helps out a lot. We're on Border. No, Border on uh, Border getting garage. Whenever we go piano and I Fuse down below. That's Consulate, Ryan, on Border. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. That, my bad. If Thatcher's banned, yeah, he can be an alternative to Thatcher he, if it's unaffected, but there's also yeah, other that, solutions like that, Legend Buck. I know. There is better solutions. Yeah, is Thatcher the Fuse is the more fun option? Yeah, I agree, but... In but that's why I say situation. Like, sure, they might be a little better, but... In in niche situations, that's where Rare Pick is, is where he can be, gets his value. I think overall, though, your Buck or your Sledge would be your better option there. And moving on, off, do you think there's anyone else that you would want to move? No. Do you like the tier list how it is? Yeah. Like it's you, pretty much what mine is. And like I said, I had a few people higher. Me personally, I only had like two people in the top tier. I had a lot more in rare pick. Um, yeah, I was more very more critical on people, but a lot of them I was accepting that they would get moved up. I think overall, though, we hit it pretty well. I think that's good, Ryan? 
I want to know why they say a uh, rare pick. For who? For Hughes? Yeah. Because why? I just think that once if once you use his gadget all the way up, he becomes a three or a one speed with a decent gun. Well, the second That's best gun it. in the game. Yeah, his gun is great. I mean, I, I didn't say anything about that. But when you're attacking an objective, most likely once you use those things, you're still outside the objective. You're outside of the... the I don't building. think that gridlock should be higher than Fuse. The same goes for gridlock. Once you throw but a grid, once, back, she's just no, a one arm. Because once, no, because once she throws her, her things are still on the ground. Unless they shot them all out, her she still has some presence on the objective. Also, Gridlock does have the ability to shock and open up the floor. Um, to make I mean, we'll use as breach charges. Yeah, but we're talking about smoke. So oh, you're comparing them because they both have smoke. Yeah, that is another thing. Yeah, he has some oaks too. Yeah, know. but you're I mean, they the both have. Smoke. Yeah, that's yeah. More I don't. I don't. I think that they're both around the same. Gridlock has a smoke plus can get the floor out. I don't think they are. I mean, yes, he can Just fill this. For the smoke. fact that she still has presence if she dies and throws all, all her things out. Yeah, I think there's. Well, you said it yourself. You can easily just shoot out the Grizzmets. Yeah, but I mean, you, you can. But... There's also a lot of counters to fuse, right? Like that presence isn't yeah, super strong. You can yeah, go yeah, away but, can, the but then again, if you're taking the time to shoot those, you're also making yourself a target. Yeah. If they're putting I mean, yeah, a different but... one. Also with Fuse. And again, right? you don't always expect the Fuse, too. You yeah, don't but, expect to get. But get with Jaeger above. being pick, picked as high as he is. Lot. With Jaeger being picked as high as he is, Ryan. Uh, most, well, that's fine. Stop... You, you easily burn yeah. out every yeah, single year. The only year. problem I, agree, I have but then you're getting once, no value out of your ability, once though. All, you use all his Fuse things. There's nothing else you can get out of him besides him having a good gun. Because he's not gonna get into the point fast. And he's not gonna like you, do you see what I'm saying? He's definitely he's, he's definitely, literally just a guy with a gun then. A slow guy with a gun. Uh, listen, I think he is viable. I also think he's very fun. I just don't think in majority situations he's always the best. Well that's, that's yeah, no, has nothing to do with being fun. The, to be the pseudo Thatcher, but in most cases, there's a hundred people that can open up. I think there's, there's just a lot of objectives to where, if anything, you really would want to fuse where most of the floor is broken out because you will get a kill a lot of the times, and that makes a big, big difference. Yeah, but not if there's not only that, but you people. destroy barbed wire, you destroy a lot of other gadgets. Yeah, but gadgets lingering around. What I just said about the ADS thing, Ryan, a lot of ADSs will catch off, so you're only getting a few nades in. Um, all right, guys, for the most part, majority of us agree that Fuse is going to be a rare pick, so we're going to leave him there just because how niche his ability is to get the maximum value and how there's so much other ways to get out a lot of things from above or whatever you're trying to get out, the value out of him from. So overall, we're going to leave him at rare pick. Before we end this off, is there any other final person we want to move or are we good with our tier list here? No, everything's fine. And Mike, you're good with it too? All right, that's perfect. We'll, uh, we'll keep it there. All right, thank you guys for listening. Uh, if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. We're actually going to be doing these every single week, so um, subscribing to us and liking will really help support us in the long run. Uh, links to our social media will be in the description. And please comment down below what you would change from our tier list.